Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk about um, making the bird um, and doing a little carving. I went in here with my carving knife and I carved around his eyes, brought those out. So it's not really necessary to carve, but I think it little adds a little bit. And then I carved a little bit on his beak and then back on his tail, put some uh, lines in. And this started to round off the edges. So I'm going to show you that. And this is really good for a beginner carver. Uh, what I'm going to show you because it talks a lot about the grain. And also, I want to point out, if you need a knife, you don't necessarily have to have a carving knife. I picked this up. It's a butcher knife. And it's been ground down, but it's sharp as a razor. And it will work just as well as a uh, professional carving knife that I got from mine or from uh, Cape Forge. You can see those. But this is the one I usually use. And it really helps to have a knife with a really sharp tip to get in and do the detail work for you. But this will work. And you should wear a glove. Because if you miss, you could really mess your hand up if you don't have a glove on. So this is a carving glove. And it's got a stainless steel wire through here. So getting to this bird, it's really nice so you can see the grain. When you're carving, uh, the grain of the wood is going this way. And it's usually good to carve toward the grain. So you can see this knife. Looks pretty decent to take off uh, the wood. And then when you get into a curve like that, uh, you need to come in the other direction or else you're gonna chip and break that wood off. So coming from this direction, you can see I chipped it out a little bit, but it's just kind of fun just going through here. You don't have to have great detail on this. It's a little tricky to hold this uh, big piece, but just get in here and this pine, every time you cut this, this grain is uh, not necessarily your friend because it doesn't cut very easy. I can show you over on this side where I was cutting. I'm gonna have to file this down or sand it down because you get into a knot like that on pine, uh, you're not gonna cut it very well. You can see it just wants to break out. So, but take your knife, round it off, you know, cut the beak more toward point. I don't want to have it really, oh, sorry about that. I don't want to have it really super pointy. And, you know, for me, that's probably enough. But come in here again. Where the grain's at, you can go kind of with the grain, smooth it out. I am going to have to use my other knife to get that eyeball. I, what I do is just go around it and then uh, I'll show you here. Just come in here and go down, straight down. All the way around, small little cuts all the way around. There you go. There. And then from the inside, you go to your cut you just put in all the way around. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting off screen. I'm using my uh, phone to take the video. So I can go live. So that's taking me a little bit to get used to this thing. Anyway, keep going around. Come back around on your line. And 
And you gotta watch because it will break out on you. There we go. It's getting there. Just take your time. Yeah, that's about as much detail as I want. You can see on the beak, I put some detail on that too. So I'll come in here, clip down, and then in. Come down and go the other way. This is good to show the beginners how to do just a little bit of carving. It's not super detailed. It's kind of fun though. Especially you get a knife sharp. If you don't know how to sharpen a knife, get somebody that knows how to sharpen a knife. It's pretty easy after you get onto it. But that's all you need is a little rounded edge all the way around. It goes pretty fast. Adds a little bit more detail to your piece. More handcrafted, I guess. Just make sure when you're pulling to, you got that thumb out of the way. Just like that. Slow down, don't hurry. So I almost got the whole piece rounded here. Just a few minutes. That's kind of nice to do where you're taking your thumb, you're kind of pulling it to you. You can see once I get to that grain cut in, I need to turn around and go the other way. So not looking too bad. It'd be nice once it's up on the pole and moving around. But yeah, this this actually this knife is pretty good. A steel. It's definitely a high carbon steel. I can feel it. And it will rust really quick. That's another way to tell if it's high carbon. You put water on it, let it set. If it rusts real quick, it's usually high carbon steel. All right. I just got to sand this little area down here and then I think I'm ready to go. Um, one thing I want to show you too, um, I do have this piece here and um, it was from a, uh, I don't know, I think it was from a toilet mechanism that I had left over, um, but it was a nice uh, rod. So I took it, I got my hole drilled on this to start uh, constructing this up. So the bird will actually be going up and down here. And another thing I wanted to show you that I said I wasn't gonna cut it off is this little piece down here, this copper piece. I had to cut that extension off because it was going to hit my shaft. So this, this is going to cause this bird to go up and down. And then the wings um, will be fixed on here with hinges. So that would be my next step, get that done. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of carving on this, show you how to do a little bit more detail. Then I'll probably sand it off, get it ready. Um, to paint and put the wings on and everything. So it's getting close uh, to getting done here. So I'll probably have, oops, sorry about that. I'll probably have at least one more uh, video to talk about this. And here's my wings I got. 
So it's getting closer. So I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.